MTS is holding ourselves accountable for this mistake. We are accepting responsibility. We are apologizing. We are making substantive changes, and we are pledging to never be in this situation again. The agency will be releasing the full video, body-worn cameras along with uh, other cameras, everything that we have at the conclusion of this news conference as a part of our commitment to being transparent surrounding this. MTS began its reform to safety and security in 2017, but the video of Angel's passing caused us to act with a greater sense of urgency. We hope that by taking these actions, we demonstrate how an agency that has enforcement responsibility should approach a situation when wrongdoing has occurred. Uh, the pertinent video um, includes CCTV station video footage as well as body camera uh, footage from the two security personnel involved. But I wanted to express to you that this is very disturbing. It, I've seen it many times and it still disturbs me. You will see Angel wandering in the rail right of way on a busy time in the PM commute. You will see the initial contact between the code compliance inspector and the security guard. You will also see them chase Angel through the station after he attempts to flee. They put him in handcuffs. They put him in, when he continued to struggle, they put him in the prone position on the ground, face down. And then they held him on the ground with body weight and sometimes with a knee to the back and the neck. Tragically, you will see Angel stop breathing and unsuccessful CPR efforts. This video is about 30 minutes long, and I do believe that it will give you a comprehensive view of what happened that day. We do believe that without a doubt that the awful outcome could have been avoided had we provide better training um, for psychiatric emergency response, as well as more robust de-escalation training. Both of these are now put in place. Again, we are 100% committed to make necessary changes to our policies, training, and procedures to make sure this does not happen again. In this case, MTS and particularly its chairman, Nathan Fletcher, chose a different path. Instead of denying falsely that there was anything wrong and refusing to make institutional changes from the very beginning. And Nathan Fletcher reached out personally to me on a cell phone call in July of last year and he expressed three things. One, tell Mrs. Hernandez that we are sorry. Two, and this is something that was rare, we were wrong. And three, we will do anything necessary to make it right. And so we are here today because MTS is and they haven't completed their task. And the people who are here behind me, Claudia Hernandez are, is here as well to ensure that they complete that task, which is complete resolution and fairness. And what does that involve? One, an acknowledgement of responsibility. In this case, the video which will be released, as well as, I am told, the raw footage from which the compilation which was distributed was cut and which will also be made available upon request, will show that what happened in this case has some tragic implications to a case that is fortuitously drawing to a conclusion right now. Angel Hernandez died as a result of positional asphyxia when he was held prone, face down, with pressure on his back, and regrettably, a knee on his neck. 
and that knee belonged to an MTS enforcement officer. He was held down with the knee on his neck for over six minutes, and he died. Recognizing that that was something that needs to change is the very beginning of justice in the case. The second aspect of that is transparency. And MTS has made now this step toward transparency. We had asked affirmatively that these videotapes not be released until this matter was resolved because Claudia Hernandez does not have the ability to be traumatized and re-traumatized by their public display. But at this time, in the interests of transparency and accountability, she has asked and MTS has agreed to make them public. MTS not only dealt with the issue of compensation, but also they stepped forward and voluntarily made certain changes that were critical and important. Changes which will ensure that nothing like this ever happens again. 